What is happening, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of K and MRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike, guys. We're going to be talking about a new programming device from TID Radio. It's this little Bluetooth programmer. Now, you're probably saying, Mike, I've already seen that. You've already reviewed that. Well, this one is version two. There's a little bit of differences. They've added uh, USB-C for charging instead of the old... This is the old one. It had just a a mini USB charger on it. And they've also switched the port. So here's the old one. You can see (laughs) the old one, the old one face down. Well, the new one, (laughs) the new one faces up. I guess people were actually griping about that. Um, I will say it does make it a little easier to hold the radio when you're, uh, when it's up like this, but, um, so there's that, but guys, I am really a fan of this. They've also included uh, some computer programming software, kind of similar to Chirp, that we can take a look at. But right now, I want to show you how to kind of navigate the the app, and then we'll hop over onto the desktop and we'll take a look at the computer software version of this. It's a web-based program that basically you can program all of your frequencies in, save it. It automatically goes to your uh, OD master on your your phone, your app, and then you just hit send or write rather, and it writes to your computer. So let's take a look at how this thing works. Now, before we begin, I've I've had a lot of people ask me what OD master is, so I emailed them, and uh, here's the response. And it's basically, you know, people were asking, why is it like this social media thing? So... Uh, they emailed me, and uh, basically, they just want it to be a more fun app than just, uh, you know, an app that programs radio. So there's a POC, which means push to talk over computer. So the little microphone that we see here, that little guy, uh, apparently, you can, like, talk to people over it. So it's kind of, I think it's like Zello a little bit. And uh, obviously the Bluetooth programming is a a huge part of that, but uh, it's kind of interesting as we go over to, I believe it's status, we can see these are like all different code plugs that people have put on their, uh, they've kind of uploaded to this app. So that's kind of neat. And you can even click like nearby if location services around. So, you know, if you're in a a new area, maybe you want to have, someone else's code plug for something, you know, it's just, it's another thing to have. So that's kind of neat. And then on the me part here, you can change your, your avatar and your name and everything. If you notice, like everyone is just nickname, but there's some call signs in there. So that's kind of neat. And you can upload your picture and stuff uh, under the me part. So yeah, I, not something I see myself using, but yeah, it's pretty neat. And then uh, in the future, they've told me that they do have uh, with a new, version of the dongle the od uh what is it the the bl2 they're going to call it they're going to have aprs functionality so there you go all you aprs uh, nerds <laughs> and then some recording call functions remote intercom function repeater function not sure how all that's going to work but there's things in the work so that's kind of neat now getting back to the meat and potatoes of this app it's really very simple we're, we're going to need to turn on our dongle, there's a little power button right there, and uh, the light turns on. Very, very simple. And then you just go to the uh, your either iOS app store or your Play Store, and you just type in OD Master. So we can do that right here. If we type in OD Master, click that, and that's it. So that's what it looks like. Now, once you have that downloaded, you will have to create an account with a username and password. But other than that, you're pretty good to go. You're going to connect it via Bluetooth by clicking Bluetooth. Notice this switch is off. We're going to turn that on. Now it's connected. Then we can hop over to our Bofang cam. Now we can see they've got just about every radio under the sun. Bofang, TID Radio, TID, 10-Way, Radiodity. Uh, It just goes on and on. Redivis, way down at the end, Luton. So... This is way more radios than were on the original software when I first reviewed this. So it's good to see that they're keeping up with it. They're, you know, they're listening to customer feedback and they're adding more sources to this. So that's fantastic. So we've got a TED radio. It's the TDUV5R. 
And now we can read from the radio. See, it, everything's blinking. Things are good. And that should take just a couple seconds there. And there we are. So it already read what I had programmed on the radio. But the great thing about this, you can read this from another radio, clone it, and send it on over to this radio, which is really cool. Or all your other Bofang radios or whatever. Here we've got a list of all the channels and stuff. If you click channel, you can go to channel 3, 4, 5, whatever, all the way up to really 127. So maybe we want to look at channel 2. You can name them all the way down here at the bottom where it says W5SAM. You can name the channels, whatever you want. You can do you can do anything you need to do on this app. You don't need to use a computer at all, which is the great thing that I love about this. Now, you can also go to this RXTX list at the bottom, and there are going to have the NOAA, the MERS, the GMRS, and the FRS frequencies in there if you want to look at those. This UV5R, that's one that I've had saved. And if you need to edit something, you simply click on that. Whatever you want to do, you can do whatever you want. As far as programming it, we can go over to functions. You can pick your A-band frequency, whatever you want to have as just your, your VFO when you turn your radio on or you're just in VFO mode. My radio is automatically going to go to 14652 on the top channel. And on the bottom one, uh, I feel I have it programmed to 446, so I've got both uh, call frequencies in there. Everything you want to do is on this. And then to write it, uh, you can either, if, if we made any changes or whatever, uh, where it says update here at the top, that would say save and you can save it. But since we're not, we don't really need to save anything, uh, we're going to hit write. And that's just going to write all the data to the radio, which is awesome. And just takes a couple seconds. And it's done. The radio reboots. And you've got all of the program channels that you have. All the settings that you want are now programmed in without ever touching a computer. But for those of you that want to use a computer, they figured out a way to do that. So let's hop on over and take a look at that. And you're simply going to navigate to web.odmaster.net. You're going to log in with the same login that you did uh, for OD Master. And you can see that same UV5R that we just had on the app is also here in the software. So, and again, here's all of the radios that it supports. So let's say I want to make a new file or a new, a new programming save list, if you will. I'm going to click this TDUV5R. I'm going to click Add. Now, this is web-based, so it's a little laggy that I found. So let's type in 146.52, and look how long. So, OD Master, guys, you need to fix this. This is a horrible lag time. Uh, I don't know what the deal is here. I need to put a zero, maybe. And then let's go over to the transmit frequency. Okay, so it automatically populates that. That's nice. And then let's just put uh, 446.000 there. And again, that lag time, I, I don't know. That's a deal breaker for me right now. I don't know why it would take this long to type something in a computer. Can we, can we hit tab? Will that do anything? Will that bring it over? Okay. Really slow, but it's going to do everything you need. And this is a bit more familiar interface for what a lot of folks uh, are used to. I actually like this. I think this interface looks good and everything is right where you need it. It's just slower than molasses. So here we can add any kind of uh, decode PL tones, any kind of encode uh, tones. Those are your, your CTCSX. You can change your transmit power, your, your uh, wide, narrow, PTT ID, busy lock, scan ad, whatever. You can name it. So I've clicked on there, just waiting for it. So, so let's put two meter, and uh, we'll call that 70. Why not? We'll just name them. And then down here, we can name it if it'll ever go down there. And let's just call this test two. Apparently it auto completes there. All right, that took forever. We'll save that. Now we can't write to the radio 
from this. But what's going to happen, let's go back to our Bofang cam here, is now that test 2 magically showed up on this app. So when we open that, there's our 14652. And on channel 1, there's our 446. Uh, the name down there, 70. And let's go back to uh, channel 0. I called that 2M. So now we can just write this. It's writing to the radio. You see it right here. <laughs> it's all happening just like that. So if you want to use a computer, you want to use that more spreadsheet type layout that you're used to, it's got that too. I think they've got a lot of work in getting that web programming software. That is just laggy as all get out, but it's there. They're building on it. So uh, I think they're making tremendous strides. Is it ready? Is the web app ready for prime time yet? No, it's not. I mean, if you look at that and you say that's good, I think you have problems. These are things that you can bring with you when you're traveling. I travel a lot and it's so easy to just have this little dongle in my phone and program things on the fly. You open up repeater book, you program the channels in there and you're done. So it's a no brainer. It, it, it's a no brainer to me. So that's a look at the updated version of the TID Radio BL1 Bluetooth programming dongle. I'll leave a link for this in Amazon in the description below if you want to pick one up. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I love to read them and sometimes I even respond to them. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe. Until then, we will see you again on another episode of K&MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.